Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great Friday and you, you're looking after yourselves. If you're driving, don't drink and drive. Don't do irresponsible things that you're going to regret later. Now, this is an open letter to a 45-year-old swoo. Now, I've just turned 40 about a month ago, so I'm literally exactly 40. I want to speak to you, Smu, um, the 45-year-old me. This, I know you're watching this five years from now, but before I speak to you, Khrotman um, Smuda, who's age 45, let me just remind all hustlers um, that are running small businesses, that are promoting brands, um, that are... Um, running uh, that I want to get into entrepreneurship or that are building brands small medium sized enterprises or micro medium size whatever it is if you are building a company or you've got a service or uh, a supply for the people we are promoting our brands tomorrow on Twitter using the hashtag DJ smooth starting from 12 o'clock midday tomorrow being a Saturday until five o'clock in the afternoon for five hours i will be retweeting every black owned business tomorrow we do it every saturday um we trend a lot we get a lot of um attention i think government departments have started looking looking into the hashtag dj smooth they started looking into some of the small businesses i've gotten some good reports people making sales making a bit of money through the retweets that i make um just to try and promote you guys uh, exposing you to my community of um uh, a little under or a little over uh, three quarters of a million that's like over 750,000 followers so you never know my potential client or your potential client or your potential funder your potential partner might just be on my timeline so tomorrow 12 o'clock midday every Saturday actually for five hours from 12 noon we retweet using the hashtag DJ so guys be professional when you're promoting your business be clear with the details use some nice pictures and let's be professional when we are growing these businesses because we are promoting black excellence all right now that's that's out of the way I would like to congratulate three of our um, bursary recipients, three of our students at the Sibusiso Leopa Education Foundation. Ray Dumezi, you've just graduated. I'm really proud of you with your second degree. Uh, Bad Seba, you've just graduated with your second degree. I'm really proud of you. And yesterday, um, Sanele just graduated with her degree as well. Now, all these youngsters' stories are amazing because I know them from when they were doing matric and we decided to intervene and assist them funding or funding them bursaries so that we can um, fund their tertiary education and they're all graduating clearly their lives have been changed and Sanela was just telling me but so I've just even bought myself a car Redumet was also just telling me she's just bought herself a car I just can't help but be proud of the work that we've been doing over the years because these three kids are just one of many others that um, we've helped at this as the uh, as the Sibusi uh, Soleopa Education Foundation. These are one of the um, few kids we've helped over the years. I mean, we've helped hundreds and hundreds of kids. And I think also in my own career, when Asubu, the 45-year-old Yusubu, um, I've decided to use my career to better those of others. Because, you know, when I was a kid, my mom taught me, um, she said, if ever anything happens, God forbid that I pass on before you get older, you're still young, or you either forget anything or everything that I've ever taught you. Always remember just one thing, Sibusiso. Remember to follow your name. And my name, Sibusiso, means um, blessing. So I always say to people, I'm blessed to become a blessing. And every time when people greet me with my mouth, I never say, ah, I'm grand, oh, I get better. No, I'm always say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And I believe I'm blessed to be a blessing unto other kids. And I think I've done really well in my career because in anything that I've done, whether television, whether radio, whether the music industry, uh, right now in business, I've used my light to shine it on to other kids so they can also grow. Whether they appreciate it later or they don't, that's none of my business, but I think I've played my role and uh, into in fulfilling my purpose on earth. And uh, I always uh, quote Tony Gaskins when he says, um, when money is your motive, you'll always be lacking. But when purpose is rooted in service, money chases you. You can't get away from it. Guys, my story is out there. A lot of people know uh, how many times I've been knocked down, how many times I've been criticized, how many times I've had to face punches. But I always roll with the punches. I always get up and go. I always never get mad at anybody that attacks me or that wishes me bad because I, I always believe to follow my name 
and project positive energies and just do the best that I can, um, the best way I can. And I guess I'm always blessed because I'm living a life of purpose, of wanting to always help others. And I'm always blessed. Just recently as well, you guys know that I got fired from my TV job, my radio job. I, I lost my fleshy cars, my sports cars that I had to get rid of and invest my money into building my Mofire business. I was a laughing stock, uh, a laughing stock in, in, in a lot of people's eyes. A lot of people misunderstood me, didn't understand what I was doing. But I'm just glad that the country is starting to catch on now about the importance of small businesses. I always preach and I say um, black owned businesses or every black family needs to have a black owned business. Whether you are uh, building outside rooms, you know every black family needs to be starting a business even though it's not a big business anything small or just selling anything guys the days of having one stream of income those days are over there is no longer the days of having one revenue stream of income. Those days are over. Robots are coming. They are replacing a lot of our brothers and sisters. So when you see me do what I do, I'm doing it for you and us who. For you to be sitting there wherever you are um, at your age 45. I don't know how many kids you have. I don't know how many hundreds of millions or if you're already a billionaire. But I just know that you are wealthy wherever you are. Do you know why you are wealthy? Because my mom taught me to follow my name and be a blessing unto others and because of living that purpose for life I've always been blessed and I work my ass off I really work my ass off a lot of people out there can see me into building multiple revenue streams of income guys passive income is the way guys. so if you don't have a pool or streams that are pouring money into you at some point you're gonna go broke so that's why i always encourage you to start a business or to sell something or to have a side hustle even though you've got a nine to five job have a side hustle that brings you money and when you do have a side hustle that brings you money don't make the same mistakes that we made falling under a certain trap so that you can look great in front of people and driving expensive cars and fleshy cars sports cars because those are all liabilities robert kiyosaki teaches us that when we make money we must stop spending it on liabilities which is a big problem in our black communities and i've fallen into that trap buying porsches buying aston martins and lamborghinis and hummers and range rovers and all of that stuff but where are all those cars now because they all lost value. At least I was smart enough to invest in, into some properties. When I needed to um, liquid cash and, and invest in my Mofire business, I obviously had to sell um, some of my properties, etc. So I hope this inspires somebody out there. But also this gives you a perspective of how hard I've worked so that you can be wealthy wherever you are and live that life that you're living. I've always been living a purpose for life. And uh, I'm really proud of you, wherever you are. Because all the decisions that I'm making right now, I'm not working for me now. I'm working for you over there because I know that over there, you've been able to build legacies or legacy businesses that are going to take um, care of your children and your children's children and their great-great-grandchildren, etc. I guess that's what they call... Um, wealth creation and that's what i try to promote on my platforms with all the deeds that i do so that when i smooth wherever you are there as a 45 year old can live that life you're living can be traveling the world the way you are can be living in that house that you're living in can be owning all those things that you own can look that good can look that clean it's because of the decisions that i've made now and even earlier although when i was much younger although i've worked hard but i was dumb with my financial decisions because it's things that don't teach us at school you always wonder like why do we get taught all these different things religion and all these different things but they never teach us about starting businesses they never teach us economics from high school they never teach us uh, money management and how we should take care of our money how to how to build wealth creation even banks and the policies that are out there, it is a system that was designed to oppress uh, and uh, it's been tough but um, people like me who get to figure it out as we go, we use our platforms to teach, educate, encourage and inspire other kids to follow wealth creation 
creating multiple streams of income, passive income, and legacies, and black business, and promoting black excellence. I wish you all the best, Mu, but uh, I'm really proud of you, bro.